I can suggest you to do this update right now. Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and welcome to my new video. Today, we're gonna talk about the newest update on our Apple Watch. After the 17.6 update on the iPhone that I have right here, where we haven't got much of uh, new stuff, I can only suggest to do it for the security patches because security is always updating on the iPhone. We have right now the same update for the Apple Watch. It is the WatchOS 10.6. So in this case too, we have a small, a very small update. In fact, it is like 500 and like a little bit more megabytes. So really one of the minor updates and it is available since a few days right now. But there is a very important changes other than the security update and security patches also here on the Apple Watch. In fact, there is a major security fix that was if someone with physical access to the watch could and would be able to use Siri to access to sensitive data of the user. So for example, if I had another watch here in my possession, I could maybe ask Siri some, some sensitive data question. And if the watch was unlocked, of course, of course, she could give me those information. Anyway, the most important thing that's been updated on this minor update, it is the battery life improvement. In fact, from the last update, someone was saying that the battery life on the newest watch, especially also on the ultra model, there were not the same. And it was in fact much more less of a battery life. But in this case, many, many people says that finally the battery has come back to the standard duration. So just for the battery life update and also for the security patches, I can just suggest to do the update on your Apple Watch because I mean, it's a win-win situation. Anyway, that was pretty much it. So this was a very, very short video just to tell you this very minor news about this new WatchOS 10.6. So make sure to like the video if you did like it. And also make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. So you can also stay update for the next videos about the watchOS and iOS update, especially, especially for the next major update on both devices. Anyway, that was pretty much it. Very short video. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.